Have you ever been to an optometrist because you felt like your eyes were changing, but it turns out you have some sort of dry eye syndrome that causes your vision to fluctuate? Well, I see this on a daily basis, and I feel that if a lot of people knew just a few little tricks, then I feel like most of their vision problems would go away. So today, we'll be talking about number one, why this happens in the first place, number two, how you can properly manage it, and number three, what products I would recommend for this. To begin, the type of dry eye that I'll be talking about today is posterior blepharitis, also known as meibomian gland dysfunction, which is when our oil glands don't function properly, and it's estimated to affect about 35% of the global population. There are many things that contribute to causing an MGD, which include hormonal changes. Meibomian glands have hormonal receptors on them, so major changes to hormones can affect its production. Systemic medications like Roaccutane for skin, which can change the oil production physiology. Diet, something that I talked about in my Omega-3 video right here. Prolonged computer use and contact lens wear. As a result of these risk factors, the following two things happen. Number one, hyperkeratinization. Normally functioning cells will proliferate, live its life, and then when their time is up, they will shed off. When there's a chronic irritation on the eyelids, a process called hyperkeratinization occurs where the life cycle of the skin is disturbed because of a higher rate of proliferation, excess keratin formation, and accumulation of skin due to a lack of shedding. In case you're wondering, I am not swearing. This is just my accent. I know it sounds funny. I am saying shed ding, not <laughs> Hyperkeratinization will cause the meibomian glands to block up and therefore your tear layer will not receive the necessary oils it needs to function properly. Resulting in quicker evaporation of tears which can also lead to further inflammation and number two, bacterial colonization. Bacteria love this stuff. They can break the waxes and esters into triglycerides and free fatty acids which diffuse into the mucin layer making it more hydrophobic. This means that the cornea will repel water, which is the exact opposite of what you want because you want your eyes to be moisturized. The abnormal mabum due to the bacteria will now have a higher melting point. Something that's higher than our natural body's temperature and therefore it will solidify. Here are two examples of meibomian glands blocked due to solidification. Here on this picture, we can see that the meibomian glands are not providing the eye with mabum because the oils have completely solidified due to the bacterial lipases. And on this picture, the same thing is happening, but on the lower eyelid. If we zoom out, we can also see that on the palpebral conjunctiva, there are some bumps, which are called papillae. And this is exactly how your eye doctor knows whether your eyes are happy or not. Now that we've talked about the underlying mechanism, let's actually talk about the treatment. Optometrists will often tell you to do hot compresses or artificial tears, but no one really sits down with you and teaches you how to do it properly. Hot compresses are very similar to flossing your teeth. The more you do it, and the more consistently you do it, the happier your dentist will be. Likewise, with hot compresses, the more you do it, and the more consistently you do it, the happier your optometrist will be. However, Unlike flossing, there doesn't seem to be any major brands like Colgate or Oral-B selling these really nice products in the supermarket. And for the longest time, I've heard various stories about how people do hot compresses, from using a warm flannel, all the way to using used tea bags? But I recently stumbled across this product called OptiSooth, which is what I'll be using for this demonstration. Full disclaimer, this is not a sponsored post. OptiSooth, or whoever makes this stuff, uh, don't even know I exist. This is just something I found to be effective, and I bought mine from the pharmacy the other day. Which leads me to another point, that OptiSooth comes in two colors, so don't get confused. Green, which is an eyelid wipe used for anterior blepharitis, and blue, which is used for posterior blepharitis, or what we're talking about today, meibomian gland dysfunction. If you can't find this product where you are, then don't worry. You can just use wheat bags that you have lying around the house, or you can just easily get one from Amazon or somewhere. To do this properly, you want to essentially heat the mask up so that we can melt away the blocked oil glands. The heat will make the oil more runny, and therefore your eyes will have a much easier time distributing it. On the box, it says to microwave for 25 seconds, 
but if you read the instructions on the mask itself, it tells you exactly how many seconds you have to microwave it for, depending on your wattage. I have a 1000 watt microwave, so in the instructions it says to microwave for about 15 seconds, but from my testing I find that about 20 seconds is what I find most optimum. But there is no hard and fast rule when it comes to heating this up. If you feel that it's hot enough, then it's probably hot enough. My suggestion is to heat it up until you can comfortably hold it in your hand without it feeling too hot to touch. After heating, you want to apply it on your eyes while you have your eyes closed for about 5-7 to seven minutes. If it feels way too hot, then allow enough time to cool before reapplying. For the next 5 minutes, stay calm and think about how happy your eyes will feel after this. I like to just shut off my brain for a few minutes and think about nothing. After the 5 minutes are up, for an added benefit, you can massage your eyelids. This is somewhat similar to squeezing toothpaste. You want to squeeze out all the oils out of these glands. One thing that I notice is that people massage their eyes in all the wrong ways. You want to massage upwards on the lower eyelid and downwards on the upper eyelid. You don't want to massage in a circular motion. After massaging, blink a few times and your eyes should immediately feel amazing. Do this anywhere from once a day to once a week and your optometrist will love you for it. But more importantly, your eyes will love you for it. You can now work on the computer and go on your phone for hours without feeling so irritated. Well, there you have it. How to do hot compresses properly. If you learned something new or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.